I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Wastro 14 3000 series laptop and this specific one is a 3490 model and this do come with an iCore 510 Gen CPUs in this video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up how to repaste your CPU on this uh, laptops uh, if you have a very dirty in place you read dusty table they do suck in a lot of uh, dust and it get blockage in there or the thermal paste dries up or you eventually have to do your repaste every year or every two years it is very important what kind of thermal paste you're going to be using i usually use arctic mx4 or if you want to go a little crazy over the board you can go with the thermal greasy cryonaut Again, I'll leave these links in my video description. If you guys want to purchase, you can check the links in the video description. And to do this process, you will need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95% plus. You will need a workshop towel. These workshop towels are really beautiful things to use. Don't use any napkin or anything like that. You don't need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set always in my videos. These are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. These are S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel. Phillips number one, and you will need an opening tool. You can get the Pro set, or if you are on a low budget like me, you can just grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening covers, plastics, or cases. All right, so with all this on hand, you can also get an old toothbrush or new toothbrush or use your own toothbrush. Doesn't matter. Don't use your own. All right, after all this, now we're going to start powering off the laptop. And on the bottom cover here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There is no hidden screws or anything like that under the rubber legs. But something that really ticks me off, and it's not a big deal, but it's annoying. That there is there on the side by the RJ45 side on this side, there's a three screw, which is this one, this one, and this one. They have a C lock on them, but the rest of the screws they do not have a C lock. What is a C lock? C lock is a C shape uh, metal on the other side that will prevent from the screw to just come out and get loose. I like that fact, but the fact that it's only on three of them, not on all of them, it kind of bothers me. Let me know in video this video comment if you guys have it on all of them or maybe you don't even have it on this three. It really kills me to know that it's only happening on this exact batch or is a defect or they forgot to add it or something. Anyway, so to remove the C lock once, just you just have to rotate, rotate, and once you hit that click, click, that means that's enough rotation. Again, same thing on this side. Stop and do this one too. That's it. Now we're going to start removing entirely the rest of the screws, and they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, I realize there is only one person of my viewers subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, now that we removed the screws that we could actually remove and then loosen up the three screws that we uh, could loosen up, now we need to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle like this. And we're going to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. In the corner, start from the left side, just like that. Find your way through, about 3-4 millimeters inward, and you want to scoop up the palm rest all the way up you want to hear those clicks those are the clicks that you want to hear those are like clamps that are getting loose you on the right side all the way towards the vga you stop it right when you get to the vga side and do the left and right side look this one already popped open so if yours is not popped open just loosen it up now you're going to close up the screen flip it upside down you want to put your thumb right on the hinge and just like opening a can, lift up this side, use your hand to lift up the other side, wiggle it around the cover, the bottom cover, and bring it up and shift it 
toward the VGA. This is very important. Shift it toward the VGA slowly so you can loosen up this clip right here under the jack. Otherwise, if you try to pull it up, you're going to lift up the jack, you're going to damage the board, or eventually you will break this part. So this is the bottom cover. If you have a toothbrush and yours is, the mesh right here is dirty, you just go ahead outside and clean it up. And down here, first thing first, before we do anything, when we do servicing only, we're going to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, this one over here that has a little tape, lift up the tape over. So once your tape is over on the other side, now we're going to pull, put our fingers right on the white jack right there. And we're going to slide it towards the battery. Evenly. Just pull it back and the jack will get disconnected. Now we can safely work in here. So it's really simple to remove. First we're gonna remove the, we're gonna grab a tweezers. I'm gonna use a curved tweezer so you guys can see. We're gonna remove the fan cable from here. We don't wanna yank on these tiny cables, otherwise we're gonna break them. And that's why they have these tiny earlobes on the, on the side of the white jack, so put the, your fingernails or curved tweezers right there and push them away from the jack and the jack will come out loose. These jacks only go one way in, that's why they have a little tiny blue dot on top so it lets you know that this side is upward. Once you remove that, you're gonna lose up the two screws or remove the two screws that touching the fan. All right, now we're gonna remove the four screws on the heat sink or they might have a seal lock, so yeah, they do have a seal lock on them. So just loose them up. Once you loose them up, you can just go ahead and pick up the heat sink. This is not coming up because I didn't loosen up enough one of them. There we go. And there we have the heat sink and the fan. The fan should come out pretty easy. And they untangle the cable for the LCD right here. right there so this is your fan you can go ahead outside and just clean it up brush it off and blow some dust air dust in there i mean air dust i mean air compressor right through here and clean it out this one is pretty clean and also clean up the uh, system uh, ventilation system right in here with a air can or air compressor now we're going to clean up the cpu and the heat sink so soak in a little bit of the alcohol on the, your work top, workshop towel and go ahead and rub it on the CPU and clean up the CPU thermal paste. And with the same dirty side, go ahead and remove the excess of the thermal paste on the heat sink. And you can just flip it over, grab the clean side and do a second pass with a clean side. And I really don't like hit this heat sink for one factor. That two factors actually. The heat pipe goes over the this fence. It should go right underneath or in middle. Maybe it's just because of the space. I I'm guessing. But the fact that they're using a different metal before touching the heat pipe, which is copper, I don't like it. There should be a copper to copper. It's much better for the heat transfer, but. I guess you can't have the best. All right, once everything is cleaned up, you're gonna put a tiny line on a big die. And one drop on the small die of your favorite thermal paste. And <coughs> Before anything, we're gonna put first the fan in here. Remember first, the tangle the LCD cable right here, bring it over. Right there. Angle right in there. Uh, push down this screw hole right in there. Put the fan cable, just slide it right towards the jack. Now we're gonna grab the heat sink, bring it evenly over the CPU. Sit it down, hold it down with one finger, don't let it go. There's a one, two, three, four, they're labeled. So do follow the numbers on the label or 
doesn't matter where you start from, always cross the screw them. So do one over there and do the screw right in on the opposite side. And the last two one doesn't matter which order you start. And there we go. Now you're gonna tighten up and we're gonna double check. Thermal paste nicely in place and we need to put the two screws for the fan. Alright, once you put the two screw and the last thing would be to grab the power jack for the battery, align it straight in front of the jack, forward, and bring it evenly towards the jack and push it inward the jack and put the tape right over. And that's it. Once that's done, all you need to do is very important, grab the bottom cover. We're gonna scoop down the VGA side underneath here first. So grab it in 45 degree angle and scoop it right underneath here and then press down the sides, go through over the front end, to the corner and the back, make sure you hit those clicks. And the last thing would be to tighten up the C-lock screws and put the rest of the screws on place. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you have any question or request or any problem, leave them in the video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, if you like this video, please click that like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.